I think I just found a new AI coding assistant that's changing the game. Allow me to introduce CodeBuff, an open source AI coding agent that lives directly within your terminal. Now, unlike many of the tools we showcase on this channel, CodeBuff doesn't just apply a single model. It coordinates specialized agents that work together to deeply understand your project and makes precise edits to your code base. Now, right away, you may be thinking, great, another AI agent. But here's the catch. CodeBuff actually outperforms Pod Code across 175 plus coding tasks on multiple open source repos designed to simulate real world software challenges. This isn't just a benchmark hype, it's proof that CodeBuff is built for practical developer focused workflows. Now, since this is a coordinated specialized agent framework, how it basically functions is by deploying multiple agents to get the job done effectively. So if there is a task like adding authentication to my API, it would involve multiple agents like a file explorer agent, which will scan your code base to understand your project structure and locate relevant files. They would then deploy it over to the planner agent, which would determine which files need changes in order to basically execute this overall task. It will then send it over to the implementation agent, which will make the precise edits. And then lastly, there will be a review agent that will validate the changes to ensure the correctiveness as well as keeping consistency. This coordination is overall going to provide better context, understanding, more accurate edits, and fewer errors compared to a single model tool. Each agent is specialized in a task and it's going to allow CodeBuff to handle complex modifications across large code bases seamlessly. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So to get started, it is super simple. It's open source and you can even use local models. Now it is something that you can get started with, with the CLI, or you can deploy directly within your application with the SDK process where you can just use the NPM command to install code buff into whatever application you want. If you're using the SDK, you can connect to any model that's hosted via open router, hugging face, or your own endpoint. So you can use something like Olama in that case. But if you're going to be using the CLI, it's going to directly use their own router, which is where they give you about, I think, 500 free credits monthly. But in my opinion, you're going to blow through this pretty quickly if you're going to be using this. But I guess if you want to use or make the most out of these free credits, you can definitely do so. But I personally would go over with the SDK mode where I can configure my own API. A couple of prerequisites that you'll need is Git as well as NPM. So make sure you have this installed. And once you do so, you can then go over to the GitHub repository and copy the NPM command. And what you can do is go over to your command prompt and you can simply go ahead and paste in this NPM install command to install the code buff packages onto your computer. Now, just to reiterate, if you want to have code buff deployed into a pre-existing code base, you can just head over to that code base by typing in CD and then the name of the directory. And then you can deploy CodeBuff by just simply typing in CodeBuff within your terminal. And it will then index whatever files you have within that code base. And then you can use all these different commands that are associated with CodeBuff, where you can deploy different agents to do different things. What's nice is that it also has inbuilt checkpoints. So it's going to be able to allow you to refer back to specific checkpoints of different generations. So in this case, I simply just asked that I want to create a script writing tool that would help me write YouTube scripts. And you can see that CodeBuff will then deploy different agents to tackle various sorts of tasks. Right now it is planning, it is researching the best practices for YouTube script writing. It's going to then also focus on the design tool architecture, creating the application with modern web technologies, and then including features like templates, AI assistance, and a couple of other options. And you can see that after it has finished planning, it's gonna start executing different sorts of things like writing files. Like it'll create the React app entry. It would also create the CSS file and a couple of other things. So it looks like it has started to develop all the different files that are needed for this app to be functional. And you can see that it has then deployed the code reviewer, which is probably like the last phase of the coding process. This is where it's going to start reviewing all the different files and making sure that it is a functional app. And there we go. We have our script craft app fully generated. And this was done in a single shot. And in my opinion, 
the quality of output is definitely remarkable because you see there's a couple of different quick start methods to start engaging into your YouTube script. You can use the tutorial, which will showcase how to get started. There's a product review, a top X list to get started. And essentially, these are different tools that you can use to easily start scripting. And this was all fully thought out by the different planning agents, which had researched on developing different templates, different tutorials as to how you should definitely script write for any sort of YouTube video. So in this case, you have different templates that you can get started with. The tutorial will easily help you get started, understand the different structures of a YouTube script, like the hook. You have different impressions that you would use, key features, engagement, etc. And you can actually add different beats, add a hook, which you can configure. And these are things that you can obviously manually tweak as well. You can delete a certain section that you don't think is right. But this is essentially a basic script writing tool that I could actually use for my videos as well. And I did this with a single shot with CodeBuff completely for free. Something cool that I'll note is that CodeBuff also has the ability to configure the agents. There's already four predefined agents, the file explorer, the planner, the implementation, as well as the reviewer. But say if you want to add in your own agent, you can type in the slash agent command. And this is where you can essentially manage these different custom agents. Within the file, you can directly actually edit it within the actual CLI. And this is where you can basically configure the agents to perform a certain type of way based off of the natural prompt that you give it. So essentially, you can edit your own agent within the mycustomagent.ts file. And this is essentially where you can provide a description or an instruction to the, to the agent to perform an action a certain way. And what's nice is that this is something that will allow you to actually visualize the code changes directly within the CLI. You can use different tools like diff to actually show the changes of the last assistant response. So this will give you a preview of the generation live in action within the terminal. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys. Overall, CodeBuff is more than just a typical AI coding assistant. It's a multi-agent open source system that's built for real world coding workflows. And like you saw from their evals, it's not just a typical AI agent. It's something that is pretty exceptional in terms of its performance on various sorts of coding tasks, and it could even outperform Claude code on majority of them. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Join the, uh, the second channel if you haven't already. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.